What's going on YouTube? GSN right here. Today we have great news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak. A brand new vulnerability patched by Apple on iOS 18.4.1, the one in core audio that can lead to code execution, has been analyzed in this blog post over here that is now public. This person, this developer, has released an entire page over here containing the entire analysis for this bug, how it works, and how the reverse engineering for this bug proceeded, and then also how to use it further. Now, apparently, according to this developer, there are people who reached out and told them that they already managed to do much more with the bug than simply demonstrate it, you know, simply crash an application or whatever. And yeah, it's actually an interesting one considering that this vulnerability has apparently been used in the wild against people. So Apple has in here the iOS 18.4.1 security content. And in here, there are only two vulnerabilities and they seem to be tied with one another. And the first one says, it's in core audio. Processing an audio stream in a maliciously crafted media file may result in code execution. That's already very promising. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been exploited in an extremely sophisticated attack against specific targeted individuals on iOS. And the report is coming from Apple and Google Threat Analysis Group. Now, we didn't know much about this vulnerability prior to this, but now we have an entire blog post about this vulnerability and how it works. If you are interested in iOS security research, definitely go ahead and check out this blog post for CVE 2025-31200. However, after looking on it and analyzing what it does, it seems to be a pretty promising vulnerability. Not powerful enough by itself to render a jailbreak, don't get me wrong. Jailbreaks nowadays on modern iOS versions and modern devices require much more than this. However, it's a great start, especially since we can get code execution with this if exploited. And that's the big if. What we have here released is a write-up, the information about where the vulnerability vulnerability occurs and what the problem is and how to trigger it. But it's not an exploit that was released. Somebody still has to build an exploit, the code for the exploit, around this vulnerability over here. According to the developer who made this blog post, there are people who already found ways to do that and already did that. So it's very likely that it's possible to exploit this further. And since it's been a part of a bigger chain and it's been used in the wild, somebody already has exploited this vulnerability much further than this. But we still need to wait patiently for that to happen. That's basically it. It's a great vulnerability. We now have a full write-up for it. It's a step further for the jailbreak community, especially since it's a vulnerability patched in iOS 18.4.1, so it would support iOS 18.4 and lower. That's a lot of people with iOS 18.4 and lower devices, and it does work on newer devices as well. It says iPhone XS and later, so even iPhone 16 is actually vulnerable. I would recommend you to not update from iOS 18.4 or iOS 18.3 or whatever older version you have at the moment. iOS 18.4.1 and even iOS 18.5 are pretty bad for jailbreak purposes, especially since vulnerabilities like this are already patched. Anyway, that's basically it. Stay as slow as possible for the moment. Things are happening in the background. We might get an exploit for this. We may not, but if you keep on updating, you will never have a jailbreak in the future. The truth is we don't get jailbreak for the latest version these days. Anyway, this video was brought to you by Rayboot, a software that allows you to easily fix your device if it's stuck in recovery mode, DFU mode, it won't turn on, or it failed an update and so on. Check the program out in the link below. It can fix up to 150 issues on iOS. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.